All right, I got some questions to ask the YouTube community. I know there are people out there who know about things like this. So here's my question. This is a 78 Toyota truck, Chinook camper, uh, a 20R engine. Is this a voltage regulator? The reason I ask is because it looks like a voltage regulator, although this truck has an alternator. But it's got a kind of unusual uh, setup. It's got an alternator down there with a hot wire that runs up to this thing, which looks a lot like a 12-volt inverter. It's got this wire no longer connected in here. Um, and it also looks like there's a place here for an another battery. And I'm thinking they had this set up so that the alternator would charge a system that would work uh, the electrical stuff back in the back of the truck there. But the reason I'm, I'm asking about this voltage regulator is because I've got it disconnected now. Let me pull the wire off the battery. Uh, I've got it disconnected now, but when it's connected and I connect the battery, you can hear it click. Hear it? And also, when the battery is connected, my alternator light inside stays on. You can see it right there. Uh, let me get my glasses on. Yeah, it says charge. So what I'm thinking is if this is a voltage regulator, that the voltage circuit is stuck in the voltage regulator, causing that to do that. Because, see, if I left this battery hooked up, that would drain the battery and the battery would go dead. Uh, if I disconnect it, I can drive it around the yard, but I'm willing to bet when I disconnect that, the alternator is not charging. The reason I bring all this up is because somebody out in YouTube land knows all about this truck and all about this motor and all about that little thing right there. I know back in the old days we used to take the covers off these and we could unstick the uh, points when they were stuck. I might try that. But I just thought I'd put that out there. I mean, what's the use of having 100 million friends out in the world that knows about Toyota trucks if you're not, you know, not going to ask them a question now and then again. All right, I've got the cover off of here and when I hook the battery up that's what it does now it looks to me like that's what it's supposed to do I mean really that's what the uh, voltage regulator does is it connects that when it's charging it disconnects it when it's not charging but it's not supposed to be connected when the truck ain't running that's my thinking anyway anyway any advice anybody wants to give me on that I'd appreciate it maybe I should look at this other pole over here down this one right here I don't know. Somebody will know. So I guess what I'm going to do is leave that unplugged for now so that I can leave this battery in it because I like to be able to jump in the thing and crank it because if it's sitting here close to the house and I can jump in and crank it, I'm subject to jump in it and crank it and drive it around a little bit and figure out what's wrong with it gradually as I go. Before you know it, I'll have the thing all fixed up. So anyway, I just thought I'd see if I'd get some feedback on that particular thing.